my oldest bike. I have uh, several, but I've got some in the 70s, a couple 72s, and a 73, and a 74, all different from drag racing bikes to trials, trials bikes and ice racing bikes. So this is one of my favorite. Well, so this is uh, my top banana, my drag bike that I've had for several years, uh, since 1974, actually. Uh, it's a 350 Yamaha. That's meant for eighth mile and quarter mile drag racing specifically. And the quarter mile, it's been 122 miles an hour and 11 seconds flat. Uh, makes about 75 horsepower and it weighs about 270 pounds. That's so sick. It goes zero to 60 in about uh, three seconds, 2.8 seconds, and it goes zero to 107 seconds flat. It's got a road race. It's basically a stock motor. It's a 1973 motor with a six speed transmission, which I use all six speeds in the quarter mile. It has a, a road race top end cylinders and head uh, from the Yamaha 350. It's got 34 millimeter Bakunis on it. Uh, it has an air shifter, which you put 120 pounds in this holding tank. And it's got a kill switch. So when you push the button, it kills the motor for a millisecond and slams it into the next gear. So you don't have to use the clutch. Only when you leave the line at 11,000 RPMs, you pop the clutch and get your feet, as soon as you get your feet up on the pegs, you're pushing the button for second, and then for third, and you get tucked in right after second, trying to get down on the fairing for aerodynamic purposes to get uh, as much traction and as much uh, speed as you can out of the bike. It's the real thin uh, road race type fairing. You don't see an awful lot of fairings in drag racing, but uh, something that I thought would help on the top speed, and it did, I set uh, 27 records with this bike, and wow. my top speed, like I said, was 120. It's a lot of fun. I haven't had this out in a little over 10 years now, and uh, about due to go through it again and get it back out. I've had it a couple shows, but uh, really like to get back out on the track and ride it before I get too old to do it. <laughs> before you get too old, huh? <laughs> I so, see that happening, though. I, you know. So, Dan, for so everybody knows, how old are you? I am 60, I was just 61 uh, a week ago. A week ago today. Actually. Oh, happy birthday. Thank you. This is uh, my vintage trials bike. Um, bought this back in uh, 1978. It was when I purchased it. it was, it's a 1974 RL 50, uh, 250 Suzuki. And uh, this is what I started out on uh, trials in 11 years ago when I figured out what it was supposed to be used for. It was basically a trials or trail bike for me back then, but yeah. uh, it's a little different looking as somebody might look at it and say, well, that doesn't look like the RL that I know. I have the original tank, which is all aluminum, and it has a leak in the seam, so I've just put on my tank for my Hodaka ice bike. Uh, it's a 125 Super Combat Wombat that I have in the What is it? I heard you mention ice bike before. What is an ice yeah, bike? Yeah, an ice bike, well, it's it's your basic dirt bike. You can use a street bike, but you uh, you put, you use trials or knobby tires. Like these are trials tires. They have more knobs in them. Uh, the, the knobby tires are like on uh, a, a true dirt bike, and you put two to three screws in each knob. So you have virtually five to six hundred screws in both front and rear tire. And it's meant for going on the ponds and on the lakes and uh, flat tracks. So like studded tires? Yeah, so they're studded tires. And it's it's pretty amazing because it's scary at first because you have to get out there when it's a glare of ice. You can't get out there. You won't get any traction on the snow. So it just has to be smooth as glass ice. But to be out there on a motorcycle, you think even these little screw heads that are screwed in there are not going to grip well enough. And they do. Huh. Uh, it takes four or five laps to get used to it. But you can lean that thing over just as far as it'll go and... Uh, Drag the foot pegs right on the ice, so it's <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Only a northern guy would think that one. Well, huh? <laughs> I, it's, it's, there's there's not a lot of guys that do that anymore, and I haven't done it in years either. But that was a, a, a lot of fun out on the ice. Just had a blast with that. So this used to be your favorite. Well, yeah, I, I've got uh, this is my 1986 GSXR 750. This was the first year that they made the so-called crotch rocket in the United States. It was made in Canada in 1985 same model but uh, when they came into the United States this was virtually the first one and uh, it's in pretty good shape as you can see it's yeah. got uh, 26,000 miles on it now or 28,000 miles and uh, I love riding it. it's very quiet it's all stock stock pipe it's not loud or obtrusive or anything and uh, still gets about 50 miles to the gallon on the highway and it'll cruise right down the road it top speeds 145 Wow not that I've had it going that fast unless any police officers are watching. <laughs> <laughs>
No, we know you always drive safely and uh, obey always. unless otherwise posted. That's right. You always <laughs> obey the speed limit, don't you? <laughs> but yeah, I get this out every once in a while. Just keep it loosened up. This is currently for sale. No. Oh. Uh, just at my age, you know, sitting on it uh, with a foot peg position is kind of mm -hmm. high. You know, you're sitting way up there, and then you got the clip-ons low. But uh, I can ride it 100 miles a day and and be okay. But by the end of the day, your knees get kind of sore. And so I'm looking for something more in, in a cruising version, maybe like you are. Uh, yep. Yamaha FJ or a, a BMW or something. Ah, you know, something right, that yeah. I can go uh, across the United States and not, not have to complain about my knees. That I had won on my 160. But I told my father, he didn't want me to drag race. He didn't want me to race because he broke his neck dirt track racing. Wow. And, uh, that was it for him. He didn't want to. He broke ride. his he, neck? He didn't even ride the street bikes after that, after he healed up. And wow. I broke uh, quite a few bones in my, my riding years, but uh, you, you bounce back and you know. As long as you're not paralyzed, you can throw your leg over the bike. If you enjoy it, you, you continue to do That's it. That's right, kids. Here he is. <laughs> Living ride. proof you can do that. And uh, so he, he never wanted to get back on another bike and uh, and didn't. But, uh, you know, I said I had a 250 RD, 250. And, and back to the drag racing thing, when I asked him, I said, Dad, can I use your truck? I want to go to South Butler's and to the drag races. And I said, if, I'll tell you what, if he didn't want me to go, he said, I said, if you... Uh, let me use your truck, and I don't win a trophy. I won't ask you to use your truck again. Well, lo and behold, I came home with my first trophy, and from that point on, I was hooked. Hooked on <laughs> motorcycles and hooked on drag racing. And drag racing is what I've been a big part of. I've worked for Pro Star Motorcycle Drag Racing for 10 years. That's a dual sport 400cc single, and that's. Let me get, let me get your trophy for a little bit. I did the Newark Enduro on this. I'd never done an Enduro. That in, that was 85 miles of the most brutal terrain I've ever done. The first section was 25 miles and it took me two and a half hours, but I had full blown knobbies, the big knobbies. These are more street tires on it now, but I geared it down and uh, ended up finishing the 85 miles, but I was never so exhausted all my life. I, I didn't think I could ride a motorcycle after that. I, they had to pry me off the bike. My hands were like, <laughs> glued to the bar. Oh, white and, knuckle. Yeah. But we did finish nonetheless, and we had fun doing it. And I can say I did it in Euro. So if I was ever to do it again, it would definitely be on a, a 200 or a 250. So this is called an, uh, a motorcycle trials ah. uh, bike. It's for observed trials, and it is uh, a 2002 Sherco. Uh, made in, in Spain, and it's a 290cc, weighs about 160 pounds, and it's made to go over rocks and logs. It's, it, uh, it's very quick as far as the suspension. It's got a hydraulic clutch, so you're one finger on the clutch, hydraulic disc brake on the front, hydraulic brakes on the back. It's a quarter turn throttle and it's wide open. Sixty-one years old and popping wheelies. Oh yeah. <laughs> this one passes for a. Good time in Dundee, doing wheelies on your sidewalk. 